back Scorpios and thanks for being here with me on Patreon. Let's get right into your seventh house here. Emotional loss. So for those of you that are coupled, the relationship is, there's a little something missing. It's not as bad as it looks, Scorpio. For those of you that are single, yeah, you're tired of being single and you're ready for a relationship or you're ready to have that uh, partnership situation going. This could also be a business partner, don't forget. And the advice card is you're ready. Yes. That's confirmation. Green light means go, okay? Um, except for this shady mofo, we're saying no to this person here. Now, you are a little skeptical for those of you who are singled. So they want you to know that it is safe for you to start loving someone again. Now, this is a message to really sort of integrate it in your psyche because you've come into this um, belief that everyone should be pushed back in this arena or, you know, that they need to um, do something spectacular to win you over or you've just been burned so many times that it's like, you know, you're saying, Sandra, you know, can I ever trust anyone again? Well, yes. I mean, yes, you definitely can. It's not the person in your fifth house, but it's, I feel like this is all coming together into turning a corner into believing that this could actually happen again. Now, he, look at this. You pulled soulmate, okay? Yes, this is your soulmate. Either you've already met your soulmate or you're going to meet them soon. I would not say that this is going to happen in May, but, you know, I cannot rule it out altogether. There could be an encounter with someone. We're going to get to that in just a minute. But I don't see a relationship starting right in May, which is kind of expected if you were to meet someone, right? You're going to want to take it slow. I get it. They want you to stay optimistic about your love life, though. The bottom of this card says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. Spiritual union. This is the karma card meets the two of cups in your eighth house. Uh, this is the house of Scorpio. It also rules taxes, contracts, legal matters, intimacy department, and the source of your significant other's income. What can this mean, Sandra? Well, let me tell you. This could mean that you have a sexual encounter with someone who you've had a past life with. Could this be the, the person in your fifth house? I mean, I guess it could if you've known this person for a long time. One second, Scorpio. Sorry, Scorpio. Okay, so this situation will improve, but let's talk about the meaning of this karma card in the eighth house. If you're coupled, your uh, partner could be bringing in more money. But this could also be like a inheritance that you receive or that he or she receives bringing more money into the relationship. This could be, like I said, a sexual encounter with someone who is your soulmate or from a past lifetime. This could also be, um, you know, an uh, amount of money that's coming to you from a lawsuit or um, a tax issue that is resolved in your favor. The advice card is, is saying that this situation will improve. Okay. The situation will improve. So big things, big, whenever karma shows up, it's always big. Okay. And the eighth house is significant. All right. Your ninth house of school and travel, sacral chakra. You want something here. You want to go somewhere. You want to take a class, but it's not the right time. Ask for help from others in order to accomplish this. This could be that you don't have the timing right now. Um, or, you know, you, maybe you just need to push that trip back or that class back till later on um, in the summertime. Now, your 10th house rules your career and your mother, Three of Cups, is time to celebrate here. Your mother could be celebrating. She could be attending a celebration. There could be some celebration or recognition with your career there this is uh related to forgiveness so there could be a making up you know 
making up, um, burying the hatchet here. This could be you burying the hatchet with a coworker, a boss, a former boss, or your mother burying the hatchet with someone. That's good news. Your 11th house is your child or your best friend. So for those of you that have children, this is talking about your children. The waiting game, patience is required. However, success is assured after the patience. And look, your advice card actually says to wait, okay? So, and remember, this is talking about your child. So they need to be patient right now. They need to wait. Things aren't happening as they planned or thought they should. You need to sit them down and re-explain or explain Mercury Retrograde if you haven't explained it yet. There are delays in May for them, okay? Now, your 12th house, what's about to happen in three months from now, nostalgia, the Six of Cups card, memories of love, you reminiscent of times past. Um, but there is something about those feelings that bring it to the current time, the timing of this card in August. So this could be a person from your past that comes to visit you that contacts you out of the blue, um, you could be revisiting old childhood friends or your old childhood home or something. And there's a green light behind this, meaning go, okay? Um, this is an interesting reading. You, despite the little things to watch out for, and especially in your fifth house, this is a fantastic reading considering the times that we're in Scorpio. You go, you go with your bad self. Thanks for being here with me on Patreon. Take care, everyone.